Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Let's get over the shoreline. Okay, well, we're heading out to the Marengo River today. Uh, see if I can't get some brook trout. I'm not sure. I think there's browns in Marengo also. Not I'm not sure about that. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll get one of them. Uh, enjoy the video, and I will talk to you in the comments. Okay, in today's video, we are heading over to the Marengo River to do some trout fishing. So, this is an overview kind of the, the area so you can see where we went. In the video, you'll see this is the bridge that we stopped by, and we get into the river right around in here. It's kind of hard to see through the tree cover, but we walk down around this way. You'll be able to kind of track. I'll put a link to this page in the description so you can kind of follow along on the river where we are at. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the video. Yeah, well, we're down at the river now. Ringo. Um, Get myself all tripped up. Whenever I go out alone, I always wear a life jacket just in case. Just for safety, you know, get out here on my own. And I guess I probably shouldn't close it up quite yet. I always put my wallet and things like that in the in a plastic bag, so if I did happen to get wet, they don't get wet too. I'll be using night crawlers today. It's been a while since I fished over here. I usually go to Big Brook and fish close to Cable. This is where my uncle and my cousin always used to come, but when it was with my uncle, we would always go way back into the woods before we started onto the river, but being by myself, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick close to the, close to the road and just kind of go off from off of the bridge and see what we can do. Okay. I'm trying to think if we should go. There's a, looks like a trail right there. I don't know if I really want to go on a trail. The river. As you can see, it goes here and goes down and around that way. Uh, I should have brought my polarized sunglasses, I forgot. And it comes down, goes... Uh, this is the way I, we used to always come back. Because we would go, would go way down where, at the bend there. We parked down there and we would walk in the woods and meet up with the, the river down there. But my uncle, he was really good with directions. 
I'm not. <laughs> so I think we're gonna get in the water down here. We'll see how it looks. It's been, like I said, it's been a few years since I've been back here. It's a good little spot right here. So if I get in the water here. Oh, squirrel. Uh, it's kind of a drop off. But we could try fishing up into this here if we can get down there without falling in because it looks like this is this bank is kind of eroded away here let's try it right here these rocks look like they were placed Okay, let's uh, see if we can't get anything to, let's get down in the water. It's a little bit different than Big Brook, like usually that you see me on the other videos. Big Brook and uh, Namakagan, this one's got a little bit bigger rocks. In the on the ground, Big Brook is uh, pretty much just like sand, so it's a lot easier to walk. And without my polarized sunglasses, I'm not gonna be able to see the bottom. I usually like to fish when the sun's out, but this is the last day where it's supposed to be warm. Oh, wait, well, I'm gonna run back to the laser and grab my glass sunglasses. I've got my sunglasses now, so I'll be able to see the bottom a little better, make it a little safer. cast that way a couple times didn't get any bites so I'm gonna go downstream a little bit more Hopefully there's some trout in here. Not trees, like that. Figures. Oh, pretty deep pocket right here. Figures. Would have been a nice spot to cast to if I wouldn't have caught a tree first. by walking you usually like to walk upstream because then you're not rattling up and scaring them oh wait a minute got something something right there 
maybe by walking upstream will rile up the stuff and they'll think it's just food coming down. Oh, I took my bait already. Okay, got some new bait on here, hopefully. Whatever's here, it's got some size to it that's not just stealing bait. There we go. Oh, something. Mosquitoes. Oh, come on, come on. These low hanging branches makes it difficult to get it out there. There we go. What do we got? Is that a trout? Yeah, it is. Little one. I'm not going to keep them unless they're real big. It would be a keeper, but... Hey, can you manage to throw my bait from my hook? Looks like the sun's starting to try to come out. <laughs> the way they angle these branches around is making this really hard to cast. There we had something going. I don't have a very big sinker on here. It's another reason why it's hard, having a hard time getting it out there. But also, you don't want to use a big sinker with this many big rocks. You end up just getting caught on the bottom all the time. Okay, we're going to move down a little bit. It's a little better angle. Not sure how deep this gets. Pretty deep. Probably gonna have to walk the shore because this is. I don't want it to get up to my waist. And my one foot, I'm up to my waist, up to my crotch. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of the water here. I'm not going to chance that. My foot sunk in too much. So there's a lot of downed trees and stuff through here.
the river changed directions a lot since I was a kid when we would come. Because a big storm went through and rerouted the river. Okay, this is kind of a probably where everybody fishes. Oh, big trout. I don't know if you can see it through the... I'm gonna pull my... get my landing net out because... Oh, he saw me. Shoot. That's a big guy. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know if you could see him through on the camera or not. But I could see him through my with my polarized sunglasses. And he was big through the water. So I imagine how big he is in real life. There's small ones down there. That guy keeps coming after. I don't want him. I want that big one. Oh, that guy almost took it under a branch. Yeah, see, they're picking away at my bait. Yeah, just cleaned off my hook. Okay, let's see if we can't get put some new bait on there. Oh, well, there's a lot of, I think that's a lot of little ones. Yeah, probably chubs. Whole bunch of chubs down there. Fortunately, I want that trout. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, that's a. This is what I used to. My my grandpa used to. We would trap them by the cabin and bring them back to the lake. And we'd use these as walleye and northern bait. It's the perfect bait, but now you're not allowed to do it anymore. Here we got another one. Yeah, it's activity. Keep checking back over there because if the trout move back. This is kind of a deep pocket right here, but I don't see I don't see any trout down there. Did see a chub moving through. Thinking that trout probably moved down stream more when he saw me. Snag the bottom. Yep, got a little Yes, keep going down. I 
I remember there's some spots going the other direction where there's a big open deep area where when my cousins and uncle my cousin and uncle and I come there'd be big big sucker minnows now the bottom here isn't too bad it's the it's a little bit smaller rocks makes it a little bit easier to walk Try to get it in that deeper current right there. Oh, something. Something there. Quite a bit of traffic on the road out there. My bait. The sinker's kind of low on the close to the hook, but there we go. Not bad. Still a little smaller than what I want, but I want at least 10 inch. Probably about seven. Doing a good job of stealing my bait. Oh. Thinking that little piece of worm is not enough. Come on there, now we're gonna probably one more cast here. Let's see if anything moved in while we were messing. Nope, okay, we're gonna move down. Some pretty big rapids right here. Let's see if something's sitting at the bottom of that. Not right at the bottom of it. Try down a little bit more. right at the base of that rapids there.
I want to get on the other side of this branch. But it's kind of blocking the fish's view from us, too. Or our, us from them. Right here should be really good. Should be an is two different things. <laughs> Sorry I didn't get too many fishing videos out this year. I just didn't really wasn't really in the mood to fish. Figures I'm starting to get a little bit in the mood to fish and it's the end of the season. Oh there we go. Got something. Oh 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 something. Still got to be there. Unless he felt the hook and that's why he spit it. The sinker does not want to stay up for some reason, no matter how much I crimp it. I want it to stay at the one spot on the line. And then you get caught in rocks like that, it's what moves the sinker. Can be oh jeez <laughs> red squirrel right there on the branch it <laughs> freaked me out Yeah, I thought this would be a good spot right here, but not. Yep, kitchen. Kitchen rocks. Let's see how deep this gets. Oh, oh shoot, I thought maybe. Came up, yeah, it did good. Yeah, that's a pretty deep pocket. But surprise, I'm surprised. Got more fish sitting right in here. There's like chubs and stuff. Chubs love these deep pockets. I'm gonna have to try to skirt this hole because I think that's gonna the way that looks that's gonna be up over my waist I don't want that I don't, you can't really tell from the video but let's see if I can whoa <laughs> yeah it's a 
and it comes up pretty quick right here. I like these little little spots like this where there's a current and a branch. Fish like to sit next to that. A lot of leaves in the water too. Oh, I was wondering what I was hearing. My landing net fell out of my belt. Oh, we've got to remember, you've got to rewalk every step you take <laughs> to get back. So if you feel like you don't want to walk anymore, remember, you still do. <laughs> so try to time yourself. Uh-oh. Come on. Figures. This nice little spot under this tree here. Where I like to be casting into end up branching it yeah it's a big deep pocket right there that I'm now standing over the top of That's really pretty. Make a pretty good thumbnail, I think. We're not even in the chubs down this far. almost like a pool. I think there used to be a bridge right there. You can see the pillars. Oh yeah, there's something there. Yeah, uh, nearly stole my bait. Probably chubs. I hope everybody's doing good. Appreciate you watching the video. If you could hit that like button and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated.
do a lot of different kinds of videos, so head over there and check them out. Yep, yeah, chub. <laughs> Not here for chubs, here for trout. chub a couple a little bit bigger chubs down there oh and there's a trout there is a trout down there, not, not a monster. Let's we'll see if we can't get him. Yeah, they're all down there messing with it. What do we got? Yep, chub. I have used a chub's tail before when I ran out of bait and caught a brown trout on it. Just use the tail. And then use the guts and stuff like that. I'm not sure if there's browns in here. I didn't mention that in the beginning of the video. If, if anybody fishes on Maringo, let me know if you know if, what kind of fish are in here. Other than the chubs and brook trout. And sucker minnows. I know there's big suckers. Too many little chubs. I'm gonna move down. They're fun. Oh, oh, trout. A couple of them. Fortunately, they're not the ones going after the bait. I did see them scoot out of the out of the deep there. Oh, what was that? Oh, I wish. I don't know if this thing is picking up that, what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, I see the trout right there. I think that's what was following my bait. Come on. It's laying right next to the trout. Two of them actually. Three of them. It's going after my sinker. There we go. Oh! I can see him sitting right there. A little chub is going after it, but there's... There's the trout. Yeah. Oh, it's not a bad one. I might keep that one. Let's move to the shore a little bit, because... Oh, uh, it's getting closer. I would like to have something to eat. 
a nice one. Well, uh, if I can get it into my pouch without losing it, then we'll keep it. Let's see what the length is. I've got, I've got my little tape measure here. Before we put it in there. I don't really want to keep it unless it's at least nine. I wanted ten, but... He's eight. We're gonna let him go. Yeah, I think minimum's gonna be nine inches. But he looked really small on the ground, on the bottom, compared to that one I saw earlier. So I can only imagine how big that one that I first seen is. Maybe 12. There's another one right down there. It's probably about the same size as the one I just caught. Oh, jeez. I can still see him right. He's right under where I just cast. Tiny guy coming after it. Come on. Oh, it dropped right in front of his face, but he's not going after it. It's like it almost hit him in the nose. Oh, it's laying underneath him. Oh, he just took off. Well, and then came right back. He went a little ways and then came right back. Yeah, he's just not hungry. Because that just... It basically sat underneath him. It's a beautiful stretch right here. Wow. You see the... The hill? And then the thick forest right there. Probably not going to go too much farther. shallow stretch here. That's the thing, getting on the camera, this never really does what you're actually seeing justice. Get a little nervous out here by by yourself because there's there are cougars and there's wolves, and black bear.
Definitely a fun stretch to walk. Can't tell if that, I think that might be a fish. like it like try to get to it could just be a stick but almost looks like there's a shadow under it nope not a fish shoot Watch for agates too. Hmm. Might be one. I can't really tell with my sunglasses on. Just throw it in the pouch and we'll look at it when I get back to the truck. This should be good. Yeah, big corner. That big corner looks dark and deep. Not as deep as it looked. Mm, a frog. This right here. This looks promising right here. Unless they completely scare everything away by splashing around. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Get over the shoreline. That's a little better. Oof. Good thing I came over to the shoreline. Let's see what we got. This might be my first of my keepers. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's give him a measure. <laughs> They're so hard to hold on to.
nine inches. Oh, this tape measure is not want to recoil anymore. Okay. Oh, I don't have my I don't have my stringer along. I usually always have a metal stringer so I can float them. I'm gonna try to get some some moss or something, or maybe some wet leaves. Let's put these put in there with them. Let's see if I can get some wet leaves and put in there. Usually I use a moss to kind of peck moss in there, but I don't see any moss around. All that commotion if we still have anything to in the spot anymore but I do have my landing. I could have used that to get them. Well, let's... I think all that commotion from getting that guy into my getting him to shore kind of scared everything else away. Something there. Bump, kind of like a chub. Yep, little chub. Yeah, little chub. <laughs> I don't like when they shake so much, they throw my worms off.
<laughs> no. Shoot. Kind of a neat little deep area right there. If I really want to go past this uh, big log too far. This will probably be about our turnaround point here. Because we'll be fishing all the way back too. Because see, that's the thing. You look down there, you're like, oh, that could be the perfect spot right there. And then you get to that spot, and yeah. then you see that next spot, and you're like, oh, that could be the perfect spot right there. And then again, <laughs> and then you end up walking all day. I put my crawlers down right here. And with having that fish in my basket now too, I don't want to be out here too long. Should I try it? Maybe that last little hurdle right there, getting over that tree and past it will be the ten incher. right there that'll be the like I said the last one and I mean it this time <laughs> yeah see all these big trees went down in a storm cast up into here and then we'll turn around because that next little rapid area there doesn't look too promising anyways Let me down in the comments if uh, if you like this format where I just kind of let it play. You know, didn't edit out much, just maybe like baiting the hook and stuff like that. I edit those things out, but other than that, left pretty much everything in. Makes it kind of a surprise if there's a fish or not. all the different noises off in the woods. Yep, let's head back.
glad it's only about 69 degrees out right now because I've got my waders, got my trout bag, I've got my life jacket. And it gets a little, it's getting a little bit well warm. See now as we walk back, we can fish this way. I say oh no a lot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.